Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and of course this is Mink's Kinks. And yeah, as y'all read by the title, we're going ahead and using up some products here today and we're going to go ahead and just do a wash and go. So as for the product combo we're doing today, we're going to go ahead and with the Mayo Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In and then I'm going ahead and pairing it with this this tiniest amount of the Green Eco Styler Gel. Um, I don't know i tried these two together for whatever reason and it looks like they match up so i decided let me go ahead and try these two together um to see you know what type of wash and go i can get and y'all i honestly wasn't even going to record this but then i was like mm, i was like mm, let me go ahead and just get it on film for them since this will be the last time i use that eco styler gel when i show y'all how much is left in there y'all are going to holler so if you're new around here hey my name is mink i do a lot of natural hair lifestyle beauty book content over here so if you're interested in any of those things definitely go ahead hit that subscribe button join our kiki crew fam we absolutely would love to have you and definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down below so that I can personally welcome you to our family. So as you guys know I did recently get a trim and this is what my hair looks like wet. So 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 much fuller. Um, of course you know the curls in the front still act up per you know that's how they act. So yeah this is what my hair is looking like. I had just deep conditioned with the Nature's Own Secret Agave um, deep conditioner. All right, y'all, so of course I went ahead and sectioned my hair in four sections like I normally do. I went ahead, did my part, so we're all set to go. So I actually wasn't even sure, like I was saying, if I was going to film this because honestly, I didn't remember doing a wash and go with this eco at all. Um, I didn't remember, but I decided to just go ahead and look at like videos past and I did chat and it was like two years ago. So I decided to just go on ahead and just film it um, just to kind of document what my hair looks like now if I still feel the same way about um, you know this wash and go. Well I used a different leave-in so I see how I feel about this gel two years later on um, freshly trimmed hair and after I know a lot more about my hair now. So I am going ahead in with three pumps of the leave-in. That is what that looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need some more because I usually use like three pumps. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to stay on camera and talk too, too much about this leave-in. I've talked about it quite a few times. I actually have a whole dedicated video to this leave-in and um, it's actually a pretty popular video. So if you're interested and knowing my thoughts on this leave-in alone, then definitely go ahead and check that out. I'll link it up in the cards above. I'm going to grab another pump or two for this section. I still do like this leave-in. Um, I think that it's more of like a lightweight type of primer type of leave-in situation. It's not super heavy. It's not like the most moisturizing leave-in. But um, as for like price, accessibility, it does still have moisture. I don't want it to sound like it doesn't have moisture. But it's just like for me, for my like primer type leave-ins, y'all know I've been absolutely obsessed with the As I Am um, original leave-in so i do like this one um i guess if it just came down to like me repurchasing i would repurchase that one over this one but if i was in a pinch i still would buy this for sure and as you guys can see my curls are absolutely starting to get defined just with that leave-in alone so i'm gonna go ahead and just put that leave-in on all across my head um you know so we could get this get this party started okay um but i love the way that this pomegranate and honey collection smells um i feel like everybody has smelled the pomegranate and honey collection i'm just doing a little bit of finger detangling just because it's a wash and go so i want to make sure it has enough of a chance um so yeah i'm gonna put my leave-in in all across my head and i will be back once that is completed and we're gonna go ahead and jump into this eco and see what it's trying to talk about with this new trim with this leave-in combo see what the shrinkage is talking about because chill okay you guys so i am back leave-in is absolutely all applied i have four sections on one side and five on this side because i did a side part so this side's a little bit bigger but i wanted to come on and tell you guys something so like i said before i do like this leave-in and it did leave my hair 
very silky it felt really soft my hair feels moisturized like i said i do like the smell and all of that but i haven't been coming on telling you guys the oil that i've been using because i've been flying through oil so freaking quickly but right now um on like my strands of hair on my scalp i'm using one thing on my strands i'm using something else um so on my strands i've been using this this is the shea moisture 100 percent pure flaxseed oil and it's for head to toe protection so it says that it's a multitasking oil rich with um phytochemicals and antioxidants helps block humility hu hello humidity and pollution shielding hair and skin from envir environmental aggressors but when i tell y'all the combo between this oil and this leave-in baby my hair felt so freaking silky and just like smooth and it wasn't until i put this oil on that something something happened with this oil i don't know what the wizardry is but it was good okay so i went ahead and just um took a section from this side i just split one of the back sections in half and that's how i'm just going to apply the eco styler gel this is the one i have this is the 32 ounces is it yeah 32 fluid ounces and y'all i don't have nothing left in here Hopefully you guys are able to see that, but it's literally just a tiny little corner left in there. Um, honestly, I'm hoping this will be enough for a wash and go for me, but that's why I'm taking them in this more medium sized section just because. I'm... So um, I have done a wash and go like I told you guys with Eco, but it's been so freaking long. So I just decided, let me go ahead and just try this for a wash and go real quick. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I don't know if it's just that flaxseed oil that's making my hair so soft, but the combo of that oil and the leave-in, my hair feels amazing. And look at the, like, look at the curls. Like, come on. So as you guys saw, I don't have a whole, whole lot of gel left. So I'm going to go in with about this much gel. Sorry if it's a little blurry. It's not catching it all the way because I don't want to go in with too, too much. Y'all know Eco is a very thick gel. So um, it's mixing into my hands very well. I'm not seeing any like curdling or any issues. And I did spray my hair down. I think I got that on camera for y'all. Um, and I'm just going to make sure that I'm gliding this over my section, making sure I get my chair. This may have been too much gel. <laughs> um, making sure that I get it on my roots because my roots get real thick and real puffy. And if you need more water, feel free to put more water. Yeah, so this may have been too much for the section. I'll probably go a little lighter for my next section because as y'all can see, yeah. Um, and I'm gonna do just um, a, a bit, I guess, of shingling, um, you know, just, just a little bit. Ooh, come on, bounce back. Ooh, um, I just wanna make sure that this is just a pretty defined wash and go. I don't need anything crazy i just want to make sure that it looks decent um so when i shingle i have been taking just like pretty large clumps and just going ahead like that so that come on come on like oh like y'all see that this is way my curls down yes yes uh Ooh, hold on, next section. Just spraying my hair down with some water, working that water in. I love the way this oil feels. I'm gonna have to see if this is how it feels with other leave-ins, cause it feels real, real good. I'm going in with a little bit less gel, making sure to warm it up in my hands first. And then I'm starting at my roots to make sure that my roots are all covered. And then I'm working the rest of the gel down. And I'm still gonna, I'm probably gonna spray my hair with the water again um after each section just because i don't know it feels better to me and then what i'm doing is i'm just going to go ahead and take pretty you know large sections and just do a bit of shingling i mean it's not up for debate i mean it's really not up for debate like hello hair is feeling good it doesn't feel dry um, when you put the gel on you know some gels are real drying i can't say that i feel that um yeah this feels really really good and i i don't really see a whole whole lot of frizz at all um hmm. okay you go okay and y'all know i'm usually not a big um eco wash and go girl I used to be a wetland girl, but y'all know I don't like the new formula. 
so i've been playing around with my gels just to see what you know i could do with what i have in my collection um but this is good so far previously i would just use this gel for like slick back ponytails and stuff because it has the hold um that i'm looking for but it also doesn't leave my hair like permanently in that state um so that's why i i usually use this gel but as for how i'm feeling about this wash and go so far so good and again starting at my roots and i will just work the gel down and then i'm going to follow up with a little bit more water just to help the product you know bounce back up because my hair is way down because i'm using probably too much per usual y'all know i'm a heavy-handed queen and then like i said just taking large clumps and just shingling them they will bounce back up so that's literally what i'm doing i'm going to keep following this process throughout my hair um i'll come back when my hair is wet um and fully you know styled so that you guys can see how it looks in its wet state but so far i gotta say so good i'm not having any you know problems the gel's thick so it doesn't have slip so if that's something that you look for in your gels don't get your hopes up but as for just how it feels right now it definitely feels really really good i can't say i'm mad i'm not seeing any like you know super super white parts there's you know maybe a little bit but nothing crazy being that um i j literally just applied the product so i'm not mad at it at all um but i'm just gonna go ahead finish applying i'll come back to show you guys what it looks like once my hair is fully set okay you guys so i'm back and i did go ahead and finish up the gel yay another empties for today this is actually my second one of the day um so um the gel the application actually went very quickly and as you guys can see my hair is just super super defined super shiny i can't say that there's a lot of frizz um okay i know that um this used to be an OG gel for a lot of natural girls and guys. Um, and for whatever reason, I just never got on a train, honey. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let my hair air dry today. Um, it's still pretty early in the day. It's like 4 o'clock. So I should have plenty of time for my hair to dry. I don't think I'll put clips in the front today. I don't. We'll see how this dries. Naturally, no help, no clip. Well, chat, I am going to put a clip right here. I'm right on this side because this dangling in my face is going to drive me absolutely bonkers. So, <laughs> um, what I can say about this gel is that you definitely feel like sticky, like the the gel feeling. It's not the same type of sticky as like a main choice gel, but it's like that thick, hard type of gel sticky. Um, and it's raining outside now, so we'll see how this gel um, works in general, how it holds up and um a little bit of humidity and everything but yeah y'all i gotta say i am not mad at the wet results even on this side where it started to dry um first i can't say my hair um yeah wow hmm. okay you go y'all know if you've seen my natural hair stash i did that about a month ago um you guys will see i have quite a few egos in my collection so i need to start experimenting with them which is why i went ahead and pulled this one out since i only had a use left anyway so yeah i'm gonna stop talking because per usual i am rambling and i'm just gonna let my hair air dry and we'll see what this what this eco is talking about okay you guys so i am back and these are my finished wash and go dry stretched results okay get into this get into this like how i know y'all see the shine I, it's not really debatable the shine i mean come on and when i tell y'all my hair is cr like do y'all hear that crunchy she is crunchy she is like like cr chips crunchy okay um, and I'm honestly not mad at it. Y'all know I have been avoiding my crunchy gels like the plague because honestly, I just haven't really had a use for them. If I'm being honest, like y'all know that I work from home um, and I really just don't be going nowhere. But now that it's getting warm out, let me tell you, ego, ego, 
Okay, girl. So, of course, I went ahead in with the Mayo Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. And, again, this is a good leave-in conditioner. I just don't know that it's my favorite. Like, I do think that is something I would repurchase. Um, I just don't know that it beats my other primer leave-in situation, which is the As I Am um, Original Leave-In. I love that. This is really, really good. And the way it paired with that oil I showed y'all, bomb, bomb bomb okay um and i will say that this product is 12 ounces i want to say it's maybe like ten dollars it's not too expensive um and it's good and honestly i'm heavy-handed you probably don't need to use as much as i use but even still with me using a lot i've gotten quite a few uses out of this and then of course the star of the show is the eco styler gel which i think i showed you guys yesterday when i was doing my hair but she is empty like gone gone and i might have been sleeping y'all because this like my hair is good like my hair is good now i will say i absolutely feel a difference between like my top layer pieces and my back pieces i just feel like i what didn't use as much gel on the bottom pieces so it's a little bit more um fluffy there's just like a smidge of frizz still nothing crazy but y'all my hair looks and feels so freaking good um, y'all know one of my issues with my wash and goes is that it doesn't always lay right like I very obviously have different textures in the front versus like my back more kinky coily type of sections and let me tell y'all this trim I have been having a ball with the trim okay um so I still now listen I don't think there's too much that y'all convincing that y'all could do to get me to not stretch my hair because honestly stretching my wash and goes is just the way to go for me but let me tell y'all this gel even post stretching and i mean stretched i stretch because y'all know my hair is shrinking shrinking i mean stretch my hair and the curls are still very actively present and out to play i still feel the crunch on the bottom of my hair i even went as far as to put a little bit more of that oil on my hair just to try and like scrunch out a little bit and it did scrunch it out just a bit but let me tell y'all thoroughly impressed thoroughly thoroughly I really impressed okay eco max holton now i haven't left the house yet but let me tell y'all max holton for me you yeah. heard you girl heard you girl heard you girl okay um so i gotta tell y'all i think that this combo together really really good so if you have these together in your stash i highly recommend you to give them a try when i tell y'all my hair feels moisturized my hair is flake free okay and i did have a little bit of white balling on my hands but it dried perfectly fine i did sit under my hooded dryer for maybe about 30 minutes yesterday just before i went to sleep um but yeah y'all i gotta say my hair looks and feels really really good um this is a this is a win for me this is a win for me um and this is the second wash and go um that has been like this i tried urban fab curls um combo with carol's daughter and kinky curly and that worked out let me tell y'all i love that combo it worked out so so good for me um and now following up with this combo the eco and the mayo leave-in worked really really good um am i sad that this is gone am i sad um i probably will end up repurchasing this just because this is one of my favorite gels this is probably one of my most repurchased products ever ever in my natural hair life um i always use this for like slicking up buns and stuff but now that i know that i could get a good wash and go out of it too um before i repurchase it i definitely need to get through some of my other gels um my stash videos are what well, will be linked up above in the cards um so i definitely have a stupid amount of gels to get through but i okay girl so yeah you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think of my hair down below let me know what you guys think about it um and i'll try to remember to um like notate down how long this wash and go lasted as well because i'm super curious to see how this is going to work especially in the summertime heat so yeah y'all i love you guys so so much i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye